In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to remove objects from your photos right from your mobile device, specifically your Android device. And we're gonna test out these four apps so you can get at the Google Play Store and see how they measure up for removing objects and which one is the best. Stick around and check it out. Okay, the first one we're gonna try here is Lightroom. Lightroom Mobile. So this is a free app that you can download. Um, it does have a subscription service available as well. It gives you access to their cloud service for storing your photos and some more advanced features with your photo editing. It's like six or seven bucks a month. Um, not too bad. It does give you some great features with the photo editing. And also that would include um, the other apps with Adobe Cloud too, so you can get Photoshop with that as well. So this is a photo I took a couple weeks ago when we had some snow with the two dogs. That's Diamond in the foreground there and Misha in the background. And Diamond's got her tongue sticking out there. What we're gonna try to do here to see how well these apps work against each other is removing large objects. So I'm gonna remove Diamond entirely out of this scene. And I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna attempt to remove her anyway. And then we're gonna take the, uh, the two colored ribbons off of that tree because they're distracting. So what we wanna do here is at the bottom of the screen, you can see there's the healing tool. It's got a little bandaid and it says healing. So we're gonna click on that. And we're going to select the size we want. So our brush should be about that size. This is how much we wanna feather it. We're gonna go 100%. And zoom in and what we're gonna do is just use our finger and paint this brush right over top of everything we can see. And now the difficult part while using this tool in Lightroom is you're using your finger and you can't see exactly with precise of what you're coloring with your finger. So you just gotta do your best to go all the way around your object Painting her all in just like that. And then you take your finger off and Adobe's gonna do its magic. So it has selected her. <clears throat> and you can see there, so right beside there it's showing a little blue diamond as to where it wants to clone from. So that's not the greatest thing right there now, is it? So that's not working too good. Let's, uh, yeah, even when you move this around, it's not doing the greatest job. It's picking up some blue flare on the on her back end there. Front end is just no, it's not doing a it's doing a terrible job. Let's try. We'll just erase that. Delete. Let's see if it can do anything. Whoop. With the ribbon in the back, so we got to make our brush smaller. So, and do the best we can of putting our finger over top of that blue ribbon. So you can see where it's trying to clone. You can actually move the cloning part wherever you want. Check that off. Yeah, it's not that great. So let's try that again. Get all of the blue in there. Clone it. And even though I've painted over the brush on that blue and cloned it, it's still showing that blue. So I'm assuming it's gonna do the same thing for this pink. We'll just give it one try here. See how big is that brush? Yay, big. Paint over that pink. And it wants to clone from way up high there. Yeah, it's just not gonna work. So Lightroom Mobile is not that great for removing large objects. If you've got small little blemishes um, of areas like maybe like a little stick or a branch that I've tried before, um, and you can clone it out with something close by that looks similar, then it works. But for large objects, 
not so good. So let's try the next app. Okay, the next one we're gonna try here is Photoshop Express. This is another free download, but if you've got the uh, subscription service to Adobe with Lightroom, um, you get the extra features on this one as well. And it works kind of the same if you're familiar with using Lightroom for your desktop and Photoshop. You can edit photos in Lightroom Mobile and then transfer it to Photoshop and do even more edits on there. So we got the same photo in here. Let's go to the healing tool. Tap or drag the areas of your photo to remove blemishes. So we're going to do the same thing here. Just paint all over Diamond's body and see if Photoshop Express can do any better. Lightroom. It's pretty close. Let's see what happens there. Take a bit of time there. That is just terrible. It looks like it took a whole other section of the photo and just cloned the trees right over top of her. That's, so that's even worse than Lightroom. It doesn't even give you the option to where you want to clone it from. So that's no good. Let's try and do it on the lagging tape in the background. Over the blue. Uh, it's not too bad. Let's try pink. I don't know. I would say this one's even worse because you can't choose where it's actually cloning from. And so it's kind of a guessing game. And for moving large objects, just forget it in this app. It's just not going to work. You can see. That's just a weird looking diamond in the, in the foreground there. So Photoshop Express, not so good. Let's try the next one. Okay, the next one here is a familiar app called Snapseed. This is a free app by Google. It's probably the best free editing app for your mobile device. It'll work on uh, your iPhone or your Android device. So same photo in Snapseed, you got to go into tools. And then you see the little band-aids there, it says healing. We'll click on healing. And as you zoom in and zoom out, you can change the size of that editing tool with a circle there. So we'll start out with a rather large circle and completely paint over her, just like we did with the other apps. Well, it does a lot faster and is actually a little bit better. If we keep going and just keep brushing over and over and over again over the same spot where she was, it's actually working. Look at that. One more diamond. And then you could just keep going and going and going until you get the exact look you want. So it looks natural. Like there was nothing there. Gone. Look at that. Pretty good. So look at that free app and it'll do it for you. It's not perfect, but you can keep going at it and it'll work. Let's see how well that works with the flagging tape in the back here. Try the blue first. Look at that, bam, gone. Let's try that one. Oh, not perfect because you're getting close to it. Well, look at that. Okay, pink. Gone. And each time you press, kind of does a little bit better job to clean that section up. Look at that. 
no more flagging tape, no more diamond. Done. That's pretty awesome actually for a free app. And what I do like about this one, you just keep pushing, swiping over the sections of what you want to remove or clone out and it will just keep going and completely remove that object. So that's not too bad. Well done, Snapseed. Okay, the next app we're gonna try here is Retouch. So this app, this is a paid app. I think it's like, I think I paid five or six bucks for it on the, on the Google Play Store. Um, and we've opened up the same picture here. Now, I already know how good this app is, but I'm just gonna show you what you can do with it. So we're gonna do the same thing, remove diamond in the foreground, try the flagging tape in the background. This, this app is all about removing objects. Um, they even have a line removal tool. You can see at the bottom there, it says line removal. So if you've got a photo that has, um, say, power lines on there, you can click on that line removal, run your finger, finger all across the power line, and it will automatically detect the power line and remove it from the photo. It's, it's pretty incredible. So we're going to click on object removal. So they give you three options. You can brush, lasso it, and erase, or just use an eraser. So with this one, I think we're gonna do use the lasso and we'll circle all the way around her. So we'll do the lasso. And what I love about this app, you see in the top left-hand corner, it actually zooms in where, where you're depressing your finger. All those three other apps don't do this. So that feature on this app is pretty awesome. I'm actually surprised the other apps don't have that. So you can go all the way around, connect it to the other line, let it go, and highlights the whole thing. Then you click go. Gone. Now, what you can do is we'll just take the brush tool and kind of do the same thing we did and Snapseed as you keep brushing over the area that you want to fix. The difference here, you got to push go every time you're done your brush. Not too bad, actually. And the more you do it, just like Snapseed app, it just gets better and better to the point where you can't even tell, you zoom in there, that there was actually an object there. All right, so let's go back to flagging tape. And this one I'm gonna use the line removal, because I think it'll work on this flagging tape. So again, it zooms in there, go across here, and it should, yeah, look at that. Automatically detects up there, whatever is in, within that line and gets rid of. So we'll do the same for the pink. Go across, take your finger off, gone. We'll go down. Gone. Blue, a bit of blue there. Still showing. May have to, it's just a tiny bit of blue left there. Let's go back to quick repair. There we go. So, flagging tape is gone. Diamond is gone. Just like that. As at the bottom there is a blemish removal tool too. So, if you're doing portraits and you got someone's got a little bit of blemish on their face, you push that button and it will remove small little blemishes. And there's a quick brush as well. And the quick brush, we just keep going over top of that spot where Diamond was. You can see it just keeps getting better and better smoothing out that snow. So there it is guys, just like that. 
There's four different apps you can use for removing objects. The bigger size objects don't do so well in Lightroom and Photoshop, but you can see how Snapseed and the Retouch app do really well for removing large objects. If you don't want to spend the extra five, six bucks for the Retouch app, then just use the free app of Snapseed. It still does, does quite well. Um, I will say the feature's a little bit better for removing objects from the Retouch app, because that's what it's actually designed for, is to touch up your photos or remove objects. So yeah, so there you have it, guys. If you like this video, if you got some value out of it, give it a like, consider subscribing if you already haven't done so, and we'll see you next week.